There's one man. Thanks. Blazing the trail against filth. I absolutely detest fly tippers. Meet self-professed waste warrior Martin Montague and his partner in grime, Glenn Mackay. I think that they should all be banged up. We, we need to get hold of their vehicles and crush them, fine them. As a millionaire internet entrepreneur, what Martin lacks in prosecution power, he makes up for in tech know-how. These cameras are really great. They're motion activated. And his secret weapon, publicly shaming those he finds culpable on social media. Today, we take this fly tip toilet and turn it into a turdis. It'll be here until the council come and take it away. Skills he honed when faced with numerous fly tips emailed to him by members of the public, where he tirelessly brought the local authorities and landowners to account. This stuff's been here six months and no one will clean it up. To get them shifted. Having made his fortune as a software developer, Martin created a national fly tip reporting app. Rubbish as far as the eye can see where waste-weary members of the public can upload photos and videos of illegal dumping from across the country. This is even worse now, spilling out. This is absolutely 100% totally free. I've been lucky enough over the last 20 years since I've been in business to make a few quid. But this, to me, is a real way to give back. Every month, thousands of fly tip alerts come through Martin's app. Today, a concerned resident from Birmingham has sent in shocking footage of a huge fly tip blighting a popular dog walker's route. This is unreal. It goes all the way up there. The massive dump has been festering on grounds near a derelict 18th century manor house for three months. I've got a real ask because it's a fair bit of travelling. Tied up with business, Martin's calling on his right-hand man, Glenn, to make the two hours journey up north. Could you go to Great Bar in Birmingham and then find out what kind of waste it is? OK, I'll have a look. I'll yeah? scope out what it's like. Two years ago, Glenn joined Martin's war against waste after retiring from his council job. We are very passionate. Martin's passion runs off on us all. But his grime-busting buddy today is his son, 25-year-old Connor. So we've got Connor in the back, who's uh, loving life in the back of the car. Want some crisps? Yeah. Oh, all right, here you are. You're always eating. These crisps are cheese and onion. I asked for prawn cocktail. Just because mine's not eat doesn't mean you can give me the lip. 